Tap into the power of automation in Trello with the Butler power-up. With Butler, anyone can create simple, natural language commands to make work automatically happen on their boards, saving tons of time and bringing process to any team's workflow. In this video, I'm going to cover some Butler basics to help you get started. Butler's automation is based on rules, buttons, calendar commands, and due date commands. Rules automatically run a set of commands based on a trigger that is set to react to a specific action that takes place on a board. Commands run by Butler can include adding due dates, copying checklists, sorting by label, modifying attached cards, and more. The power of Butler's rules are that they can bring a defined process to almost any workflow. For example, a rule could establish that when a card is moved into the done list, by anyone on the board, it triggers the following actions. Mark the due date as complete. Check all the items in all the checklists on the card. Remove all the members from the card. Now watch what happens when I move cards on this board to the done list. Awesome, right? Butler also allows you to create custom automations for cards and boards that are executed at the click of a button. Card buttons handle card level tasks and appear on the card back. Board buttons, on the other hand, appear at the top of your board and accomplish tasks across your entire board. To help move tasks along as they go through various stages, I can create a card button that when clicked, will move that card to a specific list, add a due date for two days in the future, add a member to the card to assign them to it, and apply a specified label. Now, when I click the button, those actions will be performed for me. Or, to make sure that my team doesn't let any overdue tasks fall through the cracks, I can create a board button that will move every card with an overdue date to a specified list. And now when I click the button, as you can see, that saves a lot of clicks, drags, and most importantly, mental load. With a business class, enterprise, or gold subscription, you have the added functionality of creating calendar commands. These commands can be set to run at specific times on daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly times of your choosing, and are great for recurring tasks and regular board maintenance. For instance, on a weekly sprint board, you could set a calendar command to make the start of each week as smooth as possible. Every Monday at 9 a.m., archive all of the cards in the last week list, move the cards from the this week list to the last week list, and move all of the cards from up next to this week and sort them by due date. And now, when Monday morning rolls around, everything is automatically set up for the week to begin. Business class, enterprise, and gold subscribers can also build due date commands. Due date commands use a card's due date as a trigger and can be programmed to take a series of actions as a card's due date gets closer, the moment it is due, or a set period of time after the card is due. I'm going to set up a due date command when the due date becomes overdue. So the moment a card is due, we'll move the card to the top of the list, add the red label to the card, and post a comment at card, what's the status of this? Butler commands can even be built for more complex multi-board workflows. In this example, I have a sales team who needs a contract reviewed by the legal team. Both teams track their work on separate boards, so I built a rule that when a salesperson moves a card over to the legal review list, this automatically makes a copy of that card and adds it to the incoming list on the legal board. It adds the member and attaches the new card to the original card. Now watch what happens when I move a card to the legal review list. On the legal team's board, a rule has been built so that when the contract review is complete and the card has been moved to the completed list, a comment is automatically added to the attached card on the sales board, informing the salesperson that the contract review is complete. Let me demonstrate. Butler makes it easy for teams to work better together across multiple boards and different workflows, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. To truly see how Butler can work for you, add the Butler power-up to your boards today. 
From a board's menu, click the Power Up button, and then search for and select Butler. Click the Add button. Now, in the board menu, you will see the Butler Power Up. Click that, select Edit Power Up Settings, and begin building Butler commands. Just a quick note that while Butler is included in business class and enterprise accounts, free and gold accounts will require an open power up slot. To learn more, please visit trello.com slash pricing.